it's another barn day, barn vlog. Um, but today is a regular riding day because um, it's a weekday, so I'll probably just be in the smaller round pen. And um, it'll be a shorter ride because I am going to see Rocky Horror tonight. And I've got a lot of driving with that. So I'm going to keep things quick. Also, excuse the state of my breeches. They were washed, but they don't look like it. You'll see it when I'm riding. It looks like I hosed them off, but like they didn't get washed. They were. They were washed. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. I will pre-soak them before they go in the wash again because that's ridiculous. But I'm also really excited because um, we'll get to try out my new half pad with the shims in it from Huff Clock in today. So hopefully that will keep the saddle from slipping from her building muscle unevenly and all that. So all right, I gotta go lug in everything now. So you can see we did end up getting to ride in the field, which was great. Um, prior to this, we... Oh, there was a little canter step there. That's interesting. Um, she was very difficult. Very difficult. I was having a hard time getting her attention on me. There was a lot going on prior to videoing. where There was a horse showing colic symptoms. The neighbor's dogs were barking. She was distracted. Um, I feel like my saddle was a little more balanced. You could see how uneven she is from that angle, though. Wow. Um, and it just it was not a pleasant ride. It was honestly felt like a disaster when I got off. Um, she was heavy. Why don't you end there so you have time to... Oh, that was it. No. Nah. Um, yeah, she was heavy in the bridle, and, um, I just did not feel like I had the same horse that I had the we the ride prior. Um, and then here I am riding Reno. He wasn't in the mood to do much, and that was okay, uh, because he's 23 and he was still, he's still recovering from an abscess, and he still is. Um, so we're just taking things slow with him and, and not going too crazy. <laughs> and... Um, but he did canter out to the pasture. We did not get it on video because it happened so fast. As soon as I got on him, got my foot in the stirrup, he spun around and <laughs> ran out of here. It was the funniest thing, but he was so cute. Okay, back in the car. Hopefully the lights stay on. I don't know if it will. But I uh, got to ride in the pasture on the big pen. Yep, there goes the light. Um, so that was good, um, thought we got more space and I got to ride Reno a little bit more. I'll do a voiceover. I'm tired. <laughs> and I still have to drive a while. Um, okay. It's dark now. It's very dark. <sighs> okay, that was a lot. <laughs> so much. I'll do a voiceover so that way you guys will get it in real time. But yeah, I made it. <laughs> what an ornery day. It is Friday the 13th, so I guess that's what I get for riding horses in the fall on Friday the 13th, you know? It's just just some weird stuff. It was fine. I mean, it was safe, but just, just silly, just goofy stuff, so. Um, yeah thanks for watching hopefully the next ride won't be so dramatic yeah <laughs> there was also a colicking horse in the beginning there when i was riding sheree so that's why we didn't get a ton of the work with her um or a lot of the walk it's because there was a horse colicking so you were handling that as well while i was just walking around because I was already on and she's so difficult to get on that I was not getting off to get back on and there was enough people around that they could handle the horse and she's fine she's good but yeah but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one bye